Hi everyone, welcome to the program initiative vlog number two for Pyramid. Uh, one of the questions we are sometimes asked after shows is how we edit and create the effects for our videos. So we are going to give you a brief insight into how we do these things now in comparison to how we used to do things. The two biggest improvements we've made are the introduction of new cameras and software. Uh, the video for Mercury Phase 1 went through about four or five revisions over several years uh, to incorporate videos which we uh, which were upgraded in After Effects. Uh, but all of the footage was shot using HD camcorders and edited in iMovie HD, which is um, or was a free editing program which you could get with the Apple Macintosh. Uh, this made things a bit difficult for us as something like a simple animation would require painstaking uh, creation of hundreds of individual images which had to be strung together in iMovie and exported to look like a fluid animation, like a kind of uh, stop motion effect. Uh, and it meant that we were very limited in our effects department and we you know we were always restricted on how much of the story we could actually visualize um, but we now use Adobe After Effects and Premiere which have opened up so many doors for us and have allowed us to bring our ideas to life so here is a quick breakdown of one of our shots which will feature in Pyramid uh, which we are filming using Canon EOS cameras um, in 1080 high definition um, here is the original shot. In this scene we have two actors who have found some ruins on another planet. Uh, the first step is to make the background a little more interesting. So firstly we have to track the shot using Camera Tracker, which is a very cool plugin by the Foundry, which allows you to track reference points in 3D space. Once this is done, uh, we can create a new background in Photoshop and then link it to one of these points, uh, which is the easy bit. Um, however, as you can see, the image is masking the actor in the foreground. So we have to use uh, the Roto Brush tool, which allows you to select any part of your footage uh, and mask out the rest. Um, this is an extremely tedious and soul-destroying process. Um, which can take, you know, like an hour to do something like two minutes of footage or something ridiculous. But in the in the end, it's worth it. We can also play around with uh, some curves adjustments and add maybe an optical flare to make the light and color a bit more interesting. Um, so that's the basics in a nutshell. Now we can play around with some fun stuff. The characters in this scene are looking through K-HUDs, which are uh, augmented reality devices which are integrated into their environment masks so um, and they have these really cool uh, gloves which have like sensors uh, in the palms so you can analyze material just through touch uh, and it feeds back the information from the glove into the HUD um, so to create this effect we motion track the surface of the rock uh, or the pillar um, and attached a series of nodes to kind of show the idea of contact analysis um, and then this information is then fed back into the HUD um, which we went with a kind of cool molecular kind of skeleton pattern type thing uh, using a trap code particular which is another effect um, and another plugin you can get for After Effects by a company called Red Giant. So but all together here's a look at the final shot. So that's the basics really, um, hopefully it gives you a rough idea of how we do things and hopefully um, you will forgive us for taking so long to finish this thing because as you can see um, the the way we're doing it now it takes a lot more time um, than we used to.